studied the undergraduate degree of exercise and sports science here at Deakin University and this year I started the Masters of Clinical Exercise Physiology. I initially started the degree because I wanted to help people and I wanted to use exercise as that method I suppose. My passion had developed through my experiences so we we're fortunate enough to go out on placements. Last year I took the year off and I worked in a hospital really just to get immersed in what I one day would want to continue doing for the rest of my life. An accredited exercise physiologist uses exercise and prescribes it specifically for someone's condition or for their health. Exercise is the medicine in this situation. Probably the most interactive part is when we have a client in the clinic, so we'll follow a client through for a 12-week trimester, do an assessment on them and then progress their exercise every week. Once you are accredited, you can work in a variety of fields. I think I'm leaning towards a hospital setting. There's community settings, there's a role in sport. You could work for workplace rehabilitation, amongst heaps of other things. I absolutely love coming to uni knowing that I'm doing this degree to one day go to a job that I love and the ability to be involved in a meaningful change in someone's life is priceless. I'm a graduate from Deakin University. I studied a Bachelor of Health Sciences. I then went on to do honours in Food Science and Nutrition uh, and then continued on to do Masters of Dietetics and now working as a clinical dietitian at Austin Health. I actually had a clinical placement at Austin Health throughout my master's degree. I formed really good relationships here with the dietitians and really showed them that I was able to be a dietitian and work here at Austin Health. A Bachelor of Health Sciences it has a combination of majors and minors, so you're able to specialise in one particular area. So the area that I specialised in was food science and nutrition. You do a combination of lectures as well as placements and you get a lot of guest lectures as well that come from various hospitals or, or various places that dietitians work. So it really sets you up for starting your career as a dietitian. In clinical dietetics, currently my role is to see patients on a designated ward that require nutrition support. I really enjoyed um, you know, my first couple of years at Deakin and I was able to study overseas as well throughout my bachelor degree. I studied in Canada so I think that this really excelled my learning in that I was able to develop confidence and independence in travelling alone and living in a different country but also learning about the different food system overseas and I, I met some really amazing people from all around the world. Upon completing my degree, I completed an honours year, which introduced me to the whole field of food research. And then I obtained this job here as a technical officer, um, which will hopefully be a stepping stone from leading on to my aspiration to do a PhD. When I actually applied for the course, I wanted to become a dietitian, as did 99% of my fellow students. But then as I sort of got more exposed to the food science subjects, I realised that there's actually so much more to health, nutrition and food. Coming into this course, you can go to a number of jobs, including becoming a dietitian, a nutritionist, a food scientist, quality assurance, working at research laboratories as a researcher and a number of pathways. Students coming into the class will do a wide range of experiments and food analysis, including fat extractions, where we determine the fat content of various foods, where we'd extract the fat, weigh it, and be able to combine that to include it in the nutritional panel. The environment here at Deakin's really, really good. They've actually just invested a whole heap of money in refurbishing and redeveloping a lot of our lab spaces, which the students will use. Um, they'll have access to all the state-of-the-art equipment that they will be using in the food industry, so they'll get some experience utilising that, the machines and equipment before they actually even leave the university, which is a huge advantage. I was invited to partake in honours year, and I had to work on a project with the Royal Children's Hospital. We looked at peanut allergy, how gut back bacteria interacts with their immune system to potentially cure them of their allergy. So students coming out of their undergraduate's degree can actually do an honours year and get involved in research with hospitals or with the industry and I would encourage all students to do that. Mm -hmm.